Um, I work for a company called Ventures Park, and it's a subsidiary of Ventures Platform. And we've been in operation for three years. And in that time, we funded about 32 entrepreneurs, 32 founders. And when we started, we were very deliberate in finding and funding female entrepreneurs as well. We knew that if we didn't add some deliberateness to that, we would default and end up with mainly men on our portfolio. <laughs> and I'll tell you that despite being so deliberate, we still have mainly men on our portfolio. And when we check the success rate of the founders that we funded, the men are doing better than the women. So we started building capacity for entrepreneurs, especially women, trying to see where are the gaps and how can we be more deliberate in helping them achieve more. Because we've even noticed that when it comes to accessing fund and financing, women access less funds than men. So already, they are at a disadvantage of building a successful business. Now, there's a social experiment that a gentleman ran recently, and it will bring it to my point. He wanted to recruit for a position in his company, and it was the same job description, the same everything, but just one difference. In one, he put a chief of staff, and the other one, he put an executive assistant. So many men applied for the chief of staff and so many women applied for the executive assistant. Same, everything about the job was exactly the same. And that shows the way women even perceive themselves. 